Kentucky and a happy first day of school. Today we are talking back to school and mental health. U of L Health's Greg Other from Peace Hospital is here to answer some questions and he has some good advice for parents. So let's start, Greg, with some of the mental health impacts beyond excitement sure. that parents might be seeing this week. Right. So if what you're going to see, you're going to see lots of different things. Your kiddo might come to school or might come home from school and they're just excited to tell you everything that happened and the good things that happened and the disappointments that happened in the day and that's all very normal. Sometimes they're going to come and they're going to say, um, you know, they, they might be uh, sad or they might be um, not wanting to talk to you and that's something you want to kind of look for is if they're you know, a little bit withdrawn or a little bit um, you know, anxious in talking to you and if they, if they seem like they're not, uh, not making eye contact or the things that they normally do with you. And what are some good ways to ask questions or what are some of the questions that should be asked as they come sure. home from school? Well, the most important thing is to ask open-ended questions, right? Be involved, be interested in what's going on with them, but ask questions that can let them answer something other than just a yes or no. So ask them what was going on in their day. Ask them who they sat with, with at lunch and if any of those kiddos had any stories about what they did over the summer. So anything that can help them kind of get connected to talk to you, not just about what happened in the classroom, but in their unstructured time as well. Because it's the unstructured time that when kids are at school that can be really anxiety provoking for them. Mm -hmm. Who they sit with at lunch, who, um, who when they were in the hallway, what those kinds of interactions where they're not as supervised by the adults. So those are situations to kind of pay attention to. And what are some signs you might notice in your child that, ooh, they might not be having a great time at school? Right. So some of the behaviors that you might notice are, hey, you know, your kiddo's not sleeping, maybe they're not eating, or maybe they say, oh, I have a tummy ache and I don't want to go to school tomorrow. So those are some of the things to kind of look for if there's something going on with your kiddo. Another thing is if, you know, if they're avoiding activities they normally like to to participate in, that might be something that's causing them a little bit of anxiety. So if you see those kinds of behaviors with your child, that's when you need to Take a listen to them, validate what's going on with their feelings. If they say something to you about what's going on, listen to them and don't just brush it off. Don't just say, hey, it, it's going to be okay. Listen to what they're talking about and help them come up with strategies that are age appropriate. There's a big difference between what a kindergartner is dealing with, with with their first day of school versus a sixth grader and a ninth grader, right? Kids change and they develop differently. So pay attention to those things. If you need some help, reach out to your school counselor, your school mental health counselor. Say, hey, can you check in on my kiddo? They're happy to do that, and that's a great way to you know, provide some support to your child. And is that the best place to go if you feel like you're just not really equipped to handle it? Is it the school counselor Absolutely. First? That's the first place to start. Your school counselor, your school mental health counselor. If it really needs to escalate, then you can go to the principal. But typically, start with your school counselor. Start with the mental health counselor. They're going to come up with some strategies to help your kiddo. They're probably not the first and only kiddo that are having these struggles. So they're probably going to come up with some strategies to even maybe bring some kids into some group activities to kind of deal with some of that stress. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. I think this is really valuable information this week and gives parents some peace of mind that they know how to handle, you know, a little bit of a difference in their child if it, if it happens this week. So thank you so much, Greg, for You're coming welcome. in. You're welcome. Thank you.